If you've been a content creator for Facebook, YouTube, IGTV, and you're looking to break into TikTok, but you're saying to yourself, hold up, I don't know how to make vertical videos. How do I make my videos or my sketches vertically when I've been making them horizontal for so long? And when you go into the TikTok app, you know, there's so many functions, there's music put on it, there's different settings, there's a variety of different things, but you kind of want to get the hang of it. Don't stress. I'm going to show you how to repurpose your old comedy sketches and comedy bits using Final Cut Pro 10 and putting them on the TikTok platform like people think they're new. Get new viewers from old content. Check it out. This is going to be a tutorial on how to change your horizontal landscape videos to vertical videos using Final Cut Pro 10. And just a reminder, vertical videos are when the phone is up and down or portrait mode they call this. I like to call it vert style. No, actually I've never said that to anybody. But um, I mean I guess you potentially could call it that because it's vertical or horizontal is side to side now if you're already on the TikTok app you'll know that you can put your content horizontally already on there the one caveat with that is it's gonna show very small on the screen look how much empty black space there is around the screen empty space empty frame not good if you put two videos on there one horizontal one vertical and it's the same video more people are gonna watch it when it's vertical it's just the way the platform is built I would encourage you if you're gonna be on TikTok to show your content vertically. There's just a few things you have to worry about. Your video would need to be one minute or less, or you would have to just edit down your longer video to a minute. Now, I was able to do this with videos that were two minutes, 230, 240, and just really kept the jokes and the core of the sketch in there. I would definitely encourage you to look at some of your videos that are like two minutes long, 140, 145, and see if you can chop those down for TikTok. And there's a few other specifications to worry about when you're posting on TikTok as well. I'm gonna post them in the info below. So this is a sketch I directed and edited for Jimmy Fallon, Sex in the City in 2020, part four. Now originally for YouTube and Instagram, this was a part three, but we chopped that section into two different episodes, part three and part four for TikTok, in order to get it down to that one minute. And actually the good thing was I was able to kind of add some more different parts to it and adjust it accordingly because I was able to split it into two different episodes. So you never know what you could do with your videos and kind of repurposing them. This is how we do it. So at this point, it's assumed that your video is already down to a minute. This right here, we actually have the project file. So you're seeing the actual file with all the separate clips and the cutting and everything. If you did not have this and you just had an MOV or MP4 file, that was all one continuous movie, what you would need to do is you need to find the cut points, make all those cuts again, and then you could reframe and resize the same way I'm doing it with these project files. There, so if you do have TikTok and you're familiar with what I'm talking about, you can go to Jimmy Fallon's TikTok page and see what I'm talking about, how we broke these up. Or if you want to go to YouTube, go to Jimmy Fallon's YouTube and you can see the full uh, episode all together. With scene four, this is it horizontally. And so now this is it vertically. So you crop out a lot of the frame and you push in a little bit. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. So I duplicate this project. So I got this as a horizontal video. Project settings, modify. I'm gonna change it to vertical video. Everything else you can see the same. So it's 720 by 1280. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go wanna go to you know each clip you know, this one specifically. You're gonna go to the first clip if you have a project file like this. You're gonna go to your inspector, inspector gadget, and adjust the scale. I usually go to about, yeah, I don't mind leaving a little bit at the top and bottom because you can't really see it with all the TikTok stuff anyways. I usually do about 305. So 305 scale takes me to just, you know, nice vertical presentation. So then what I do is I command C, so I copy that, I highlight everything else. Shift Command V, so paste attributes. I don't want to paste any of this other stuff. I just want to paste the uh, scale. Boom. Then everything now is presented at that 305 scale range. But obviously, it's not perfect. Like right here, Jimmy's not centered. So then you're going to want to go through each frame and adjust. So I always try to give um, the character a little lead room on the side of the screen that he's talking to the other person. It's funky, just drop it down. It's still the same scale though. Then you're gonna do this with each frame, just making sure so that the focus of the video is centered in this vertical screen. But you see on these, some of these shots where the character is moving from one part of the screen to the other. So now you're gonna have to do a little keyframing. If you don't know what keyframing is, you're adjusting the motion of your video to the movement of however you want it. So whether that's in, that's out, or that's left or right, and you're gonna move it over the periods of time of the video. So right here, the character obviously runs from left to right. So I wanna start this keyframe, you know, right there. 
and then because he's moving, I see the position of my X axis right there is changing. That's because this is where the video is gonna move to over the period of time of that video. So now you can see, now it follows him. Before he was just running out of the frame, now the frame moves along with his action. And I wanna do that at the end here. Now I wanna start it where he's centered in the frame. Click that keyframe, which is right here. Position is like the little dots right here. And then you just wanna export. So as you can see, this is the same frame. This is what it was on YouTube. This is how it's gonna be presented on TikTok. And that's just with, you know, adjusting the frame, cropping it in a little bit, tweaking the scale, positioning it a little differently. Then you have a new video for a new platform. You can't have really too many characters because when you're cropping into the frame and you're adjusting it, you can only really see one or two people talking at a time. I'm sure you can make it work with the keyframing, but it's just something to think about. If it's two or three people, it's a little easier to understand what's going on in the vertical format. Doing this method will decrease the quality of your video because obviously you're pushing in and zooming into your frame. TikTok, I believe, is presented in 720. Honestly, if you're shooting 4K, you should be fine uh, because you're pushing in and it probably will get to 720 at that point. And voila, we shared it on TikTok and I got another 80,000 views. So if you have a backlog of sketches, reviews, tutorials, and demos, don't be afraid to share it onto new platforms. The one thing I've learned is you never know who's using what platform and you always wanna have more eyeballs on your content. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you on the next one.